what the heck um, <clears throat> so this is I, I loaded up if you watch the previous episode this makes more sense what I'm talking about not a lot but it makes more sense uh, last battle we played all the way through it was here on the Pea Ridge map and uh, we went to the second day to kind of finish what we had started on the first and everything went non-responsive so rather than surrender or retreat I just exited out of the game and loaded back in so this is me uh, later on when I've loaded back in and the battle immediately comes up again and um, so I'm just going to set this up like any other battle uh, I kind of know what I'm up against I can deploy f further forward this time uh, which is good for me <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and do that and once we're set up we're going to uh, then I'll, I'll resume so we've loaded back in and uh, <clears throat> it didn't take that long to find a the CSA, they weren't where I thought they were. They started up here by 12 Corners Church, and they started coming down the road. And uh, I was expecting them to be further back. Uh, and initially I had my army, I had my artillery going up to the Round Prairie with my infantry in the woods. That would have been, uh, well, I mean, in some ways it would have been nice, I guess, to have the artillery that close. But the infantry would have been all out of position. It would have been quite bad. So we got five skirmisher units. Uh, what we're doing now is we're going to move the batteries up. Uh, we can see uh, Mackenzie's going to go there. Uh, Webb is going to go a little bit in front of that. The infantry units are going to move up basically to what they call Little Mountain, which is, geez, that's a hill. And uh, this actually is is still only a hill. It's not a mountain by you know in any any sense of the word mountain, but uh, I believe we're sending two brigades over here. This is just initially, uh, we're going to keep them in the woods, and I think I'm going to walk the artillery up. Um, only moving Mackenzie to there doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Hooker is detached. Uh, didn't really know what to do with him. This is actually a nice arty field. Well, wait, no, it's planted. It's not a nice arty field. Uh, this is not a bad position at all for artillery. I'm just not sure that I can get it up there. Uh before their infantry rushes it. And I don't want the artillery too far back, but I also don't want them uh, too far forward. Uh, maybe... I, I think it's it's awfully risky, but I might be able to get a battery back here behind the house. Yeah, the house is then obscuring it. That's, that's a big concern. Judah, I don't know where you're going, but you need to be up here. Uh, yeah, the AIs, detached skirmishers, which is the right call. Um, so that, that was going to be Mackenzie, so then Webb must be the other artillery unit. And that was still going to go up the road a ways, uh, but they're going to be too far away to do anything that I would consider meaningful. So we have a skirmish going on. Well, we have a fight among skirmishers. It's, it, it is a skirmish, but I don't want to keep my skirmishers too close to the artillery. I explained it in the last video. It's a small battery, if I remember correctly from last time. It was, uh, okay, so it's seven guns. I don't have to remember. I can just look, uh, and that's not bad. But still, I don't want to keep infantry too close to them. Uh, those don't look like they, either of them hit, but you know, the next one could always be the one. But if we can keep that line from moving too far forward, uh, I'd really like time for the artillery to come up. That's where our advantage is. Uh, total troops, I, I don't think we actually have much of an advantage to speak of. Okay, so we got about a three-on-one against skirmishing groups here. It looks like they're going to bring their artillery into the woods. That's an interesting call. I don't know if it reduces their effectiveness. Uh, I, it certainly should. It should reduce, I would think, their, their effective range and the accuracy. Um, even if you're getting indirect fire coordinates, it's it's not going to be ideal, uh, and it's and they should fire slower because it would take time for uh, feedback to come through. So what I'm seeing now is that they're going to push up the mountain. 
uh, then this is actually a pretty easy call for me. Just get up the mountain first and maybe then bring artillery along the road. Uh, but yeah, if they want to fight uphill against infantry with artillery firing in their flank, that's that's probably about as good a matchup as I'm going to get. I'm going to try to halt that move because I don't think it's going to be that effective. They're moving to an effective place. This is nice that they're setting up here. And I know that I just said artillery probably shouldn't be on a hill. Uh, but if that's where the other side is, and that's where your infantry is going to be, it's better than leaving it exposed. And so at least they'll be up on a high ground. It's not really a clearing. Um, it's just not as heavily wooded as some of the other areas. All right. So far, looks like casualties are fairly light, but they're starting to get angled down in a bad way. Uh, we'll move the fifth unit of skirmishers over there. Hooker's only going to move up to this fence. I don't think that's far enough, but... Uh, and these guys didn't stop fast enough. I mean... Horse artillery, you know, maybe they're fine there. Uh, and Harney is the laggard. Everybody else seems to be in a pretty good position. All right, these guys can get brought back into the middle. Skirmishers, I think, have a relative advantage against packed infantry, but not against artillery. Uh, so here we have the guns. And their cavalry. Let's see, we'll get them dismounted. Get them up against that fence. And they should be in a better way. I think that was canister. That was. You see all that dust kicked up here? at Quinby's detachment. Uh, I realize they're not going to do anything now, uh, unless they're going to go all the way around that artillery, and that just doesn't seem like... I mean, it doesn't seem incredibly efficient, because it's not. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, I guess they need orders to orient themselves. It's not on the dis. It's just... It's kind of what I'm seeing. Missouri Brigade... Uh, can we put them in that corner? That might be okay. Queen Bee's detachment is still taking shots. Okay, line is eager. I mean, if their infantry is going to rotate off, then we're going to rotate over to meet them. Those guys. All right, they're moving. How's my battery up on the mountain? And yeah, I'm calling this one. It's it's still not a mountain, but all right, we'll get. Since they don't seem eager to come straight up the mountain anymore, we're gonna rotate to where they are. These guys are around. This is Judah's detachment, so they're okay there. They can get some flanking fire on that unit. Lions men, I guess, are being pressed heavily enough. This just is not working with the cav. I don't know what the issue is. They're dismounted. Okay, they're moving out. Quimby's moving out. Eustace is not yet moving out, but will be momentarily. I believe both... Okay, so that's Judah's brigade. Avril's brigade does not yet have orders. I don't know if I'm going to order them off there. I'm not sure how things are doing overall. I think I need to press this one much harder than the last one. Uh, which I really haven't done so far. You can see it's almost 540 already. I don't want to go to day two. 
Uh, uh, so I guess that, that means that I gotta kinda press with everything here. Are we following? Firing. I guess Webb isn't. He's disrupted because of the woods, which makes sense. Um, I'm sure that's not optimal, but I kind of want to do it anyways. And we got to get this cav maybe firing into their flanks there. This artillery, I'm even willing to move up. I don't think we'll quite be in canister range, but we'll be very close. First Brigade under Quinby. Um, I like Deadly Volley. is in a bad place. Should be right about here. And he's all the way back here. Okay, the artillery is moving off the high hill or the mountain, whatever you want to call it. Some forces here. Okay, so it looks like both the artillery and the cavalry are lining up. I think Hooker's cavalry is still going to be too far away, but oh well. It's a little concerning because it's just about 6 p.m. I don't think we have that much longer. They say it's indecisive. Uh, things are ticking pretty well in my favor. But we ain't there yet. We're not even up to a minor victory. I don't know. So we only have the option to retreat or surrender through here. Um, I'm not sure why they removed the ceasefire. Maybe because it was too easy to gain. I don't know if people would get up. Capturing a lot of victory points, maybe as defenders. Dealing some good initial casualties, and then they just run away. I, I don't really understand the point of it, since... Things the AI can do are, are fairly great for them, although a little, a little questionable uh, in terms of just being able to pull out in the middle of a battle, even when they're surrounded on several sides. I won't say on all sides, uh, but it would seem impressive that they could manage to ex extricate themselves that rapidly after having been enveloped that way. But that's... it is what it is, right? It's too bad that this may not work on the second day. And I'm not... I'm not really sure what to do. Uh, I could let it auto-resolve and just see how it goes. That's... oops, I don't mean to be speeding anything up here. Uh, that's certainly one way to do it. It's always risky, but we already can't win, so I'm not sure what else there is. We could withdraw from the, the battle. And try to fight it at, earlier in the day. Nope, 
We don't want to do that. We wanted to slide along that fence. Come on, guys. You gotta. We gotta stay on them here. We got one group to break, it looks like. But I'm watching the timer, and I. A little bit after six, not seeing much more. Alright, maybe we'll help those guys get dug in. It's off. Now it says it's a major victory, which is great. Oh my goodness, my guys don't want to move. They've been ordered to attack and they're just standing there. Probably can't hear it, but my cat in the background does not approve of their tactics. Let's get him two paws down. And a nasty, nasty snarling meow. Which they absolutely deserve. Alright, we'll see if this big old line of almost 3,000 can just go up and wipe that battery. That would be great. These guys... I wonder if I can shuffle all along their flank. Be funny if nothing else. Oh, come on guys. Move forward. We really haven't taken... Yeah, not that bad of casualties. Certainly, certainly not like them. Um, I don't know. How are you idle? Oh, wait, is this the battery? No, they're on fire at will. How are they? One of these was on nothing before. I, I don't know why they've decided to guess the facing of the gun was slightly off and so they couldn't they wouldn't shoot okay because now they're firing all right darn it guys move you gotta get up there guys I think we just gotta march right up to them just about point blank and just see what we can do here. These guys are indicating they have no orders to move. That's hard to believe. Come on, point blank. Okay, they're firing at least. Second battery is firing. Nope, they've gone back to idle. Uh, I don't know what to do with those guys. Maybe put them right there. But it kind of feels like I have to break. The CSA from the field. Hookers, boys. All right, they're getting hit, but they do have the carbines. Hopefully at close enough range, that'll be enough. Don't know why my guys have gone kind of quasi-unresponsive. They're not taking kindly to my suggestions to move up here at point-blank range. Nobody wants to go up and eat the canister, I guess. Yes, I do want you to move up for reals, guys. are fine. What can we do? Vanguard. They won't be alarmed. That's good. Kind of like that one. Stormers. I 
kind of like that one a lot. I don't really want to be up on my horse. Spirit of Charge is nice. Uh, jeez, I like a lot of those. I kind of like this idea of, you know, fighting basically as, as skirmishers in a loose formation. It should limit their casualties despite their size. them through their units. Th those orders they'll probably follow. Whoa. Let's line them up like that. Just face that away. There you go. Alright, so we got them to break before nightfall, and, I mean, we just did 10 to 1 casualties uh, on them, and it definitely should not have been like that. Uh, maybe it should have been a win, eventually. Uh, the AI should have held up and wait for their reinforcements. It would have been a very close fight. Considering how heavily wooded it was, it could have mitigated a lot of her artillery. But a win is a win. And the devs have not gotten to the AI balancing part. So I, I think it will be that kind of hard at some point. All right, that was a win. Wins are nice. And so we're back here in our campaign map. Do we? Okay, there's the sound. So I think when we get to this Fort Smith, we're going to build our own fort. I'm trying to garrison Arkansas. We're moving a little slow here. We have another sie Whoa, we have many other sieges. What do we have? Oh. This one I cannot fight. Was that the fort I was trying to build? Is now gone CSA? Uh, maybe. Little Rock? Now who's attacking us? The Western Army? Oh, we're gonna lose that. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I guess they, they might have teleported back. That is a known issue. So that Fort Morgan Garrison is definitely going to get run over. Uh, that's why they're there. They're a speed bump. And we're going to bring the Army of Northern Virginia down to get all up in the Hampton Division's business. They're down at 7,700. They had 10,000 troops. I'm guessing they, they moved folks around. Okay, we're over here. I think this was going to be a fort. Yeah, that'll do. So we'll get a fort at that crossroads. And is that on? There are four armies. So that's Department of Ohio building a fort. They're going for Hampton's division. My southernmost. Was this Patterson or Pattison? Where are they? Where are they? Okay, they're here. And they're fighting that stupid fort battle. Uh, well, I don't know if a siege train's going to matter. But I'll bring in everything I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, sappers and miners. Let me take them out. I still want to see if engineering is actually giving us anything. Uh, so I'll put it in this army too and see if I get engineering points. Ooh, we have a battle. Is this a real battle or are they playing with me? Let's see. I mean, that first battle, I don't think it was as good as the other one. Uh, we, we walked over them a little too quickly, but... So, I shouldn't say but, it should be so. 
Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Three thousand men and eight guns. It's not a terribly competitive one, and it looks like it's starting out with us with a major victory already. They're going to come in over there. Uh, I'll set it up and I'll run it through, but I doubt this one's going to last very long. Famous last words, I know. So contrary to what I believe, there really was no battle to fight. Uh, I started it, started moving some troops out, and it just went to, you're victorious. So uh, that definitely makes sense. I guess they were trying to withdraw before, and they were just unable to do so. Uh, but now they're withdrawing, sort of, by retreating from this battle. Not really glorious, but a win's a win. I wonder if we can keep moving here into Fort Smith. And in the Missouri State Guard, they lost, but that's not going to stop them from teleporting back to Carrollton. Actually, it's not what you should be doing. You should be going down here to try to fight the Western Army. Um, I blame your uh, commander-in-chief, though, for that bad call. How many? Four sieges. I know three of them. I know that. I know that. Uh, do I know this? Maybe. And the fourth one is... Yeah, that one. Yeah, I did know that. All right. Disaster at Morgan. Oh, because McDowell didn't move fast enough. Eh, that would be my scapegoat. A city falls. Confederates victorious. We're in dismay. A Union city fell. Yikes. I'm not sure what I missed. <laughs> A Union city. Petersburg was retaken. It's, uh, it's here. It's not in Northern Virginia. It's southern. Anyways, actual fake news aside, we're moving on. Doesn't matter much. Man, my national morale is low. And theirs is high. For reasons I don't quite understand. I've won three consecutive land battles. Alright. Alright. Uh, economically, I guess things are okay. I don't remember. Looks like my fleets are here. I don't know what the James River Squadron can do. They may retreat across land. Oh yeah, we're going to be offensive. Atlantic Blockading Squadron. Oh, the Flying Flotilla. I forgot about them. I don't know if they needed it. Holy crap, McDowell. Glorious victory at Petersburg? Yeah. Uh, there was a glitch previously where uh, the other side would withdraw their navy over land, which I always thought was really clever. I mean, it's hard, it's hard to pursue them when they do that. Um, I'm not really sure what to do with these guys. I don't think I need them here anymore. Their job is to blockade. I mean, I could switch their jobs. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's... My goodness, McDowell. War's going to be over before you move. I don't know in whose favor, but it could be. Uh, Glor 
glorious victory at Morgan. Oh, I, yeah, I took back the fort that I'd built, um, which qualifies us for a glorious victory. Tribu's core. Disaster at Morgan. Oh, uh, yeah, I should have lost that. that. Well, even though that Western army has been beaten several times, and it's amazing that they're still around. Let's see, there's one siege left. Apparently, I don't have very good odds of winning. It's only 46%. Huh. But that'll play out when it when it does. Army of no uh, What are your orders? I think you know. I think you know. Hmm. I guess I thought there was an army of the Potomac that was nearby that could help them as well. They're saying 7,000 and no guns. I'm guessing that means that there's reinforcements. Now, it's starting at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, the numbers are certainly on my side. The question is whether I can get into battle with them fast enough before evening falls. I think so. I'm going to deploy and uh, then I'll be back with you. All right, so we are loaded in. Uh, we found them. Uh, they were on this road here. And it looks like they're heading up to the Bethesda Church. So we're going to send some skirmishers after them. Uh, we're behind. I think it has to do with victory points. We just haven't taken that many. Uh, but now that we know where they are, they're my skirmishers are going over, and we're going to try to hold them around the Bethesda Church. Uh, detached both my cavalry units, and they are being sent to, uh, I think, areas near the church, and then I'm going to have each one of the three uh, divisions, I believe, march to... They're all going to end up in this... Uh, I think I have one that's going to be over here, one that's going to be here, and then you can see the outline for the third one is there. Uh, it's it's always risky, and I think this is kind of what Grand Tactician is going for. Uh, you don't know where they're going to be. I mean, they all should be relatively close, but you kind of need to plan in advance. Uh, and you're probably going to get a lot wrong, but that's just the way it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's that's, that's the lesson. Uh, we do outnumber them, whatever it said it was, about two to one. Uh, you know, it's enough that if the rules were reverse, I think I could do okay. I don't, I can't imagine, yeah, we're, we're taking that fire, but we're not giving it. Uh, it's not a great position for them, uh, my guys. So I'm going to try to withdraw. Again, if we can just hold them in and around this church, that would be fine. And so we'll skirmish from the front, or we'll threaten to skirmish from the front, from the back, the flanks, whatever. We'll trade some men for time. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's Palmer on the cavalry. There's Hunt's cavalry. But it's still a long way to go to catch these guys. And their skirmishers are... Not giving my guys a break. They're gonna looks like they're just gonna chase them wherever they go. That works. I mean, it doesn't really work for me. It's kind of not what I want. I want to keep my skirmishers just close enough to their infantry that I can harass them, but it's not meant to be. So we we took a victory point. Looks like it knocked things down to indecisive. Uh, we got over here. We got division. Looks like it's all infantry and cap. Looks like the no arty thing is is holding up. So. It's one thing that my skirmishers don't have to worry about. They will get pressed by the other side's infantry. And actually, that was way too far to withdraw these guys. 
Uh, we can keep, keep them in the woods. We can get them lay down since we're outranged anyways. We're going to lose a shootout with those guys. Let's just stay in the heavily wooded area. Uh, but I want to give them something to think about. That unit of skirmishers, whoa. Morris's detachment. I think you're going to need cover because I think you're just outnumbered in terms of straight infantry. All right, so they've pulled back their other skirmishing units, so I'm going to get these guys up close to the action. I hope Morris's detachment makes the use of that natural ability to defend because they're going to need it. They're up against... Oh, it's only Hill's detachment. I guess the other infantry regiments figured correctly. Why bother? Okay, so then those skirmishers will go there. Where's the rest? Okay, so things have... They've moved a little bit slower than I had planned, which is a good thing. I was counting on them getting, getting in position pretty quickly. Uh, so we'll give... Hunt's almost to where he should be. Uh, geez. Where do I want Hunt? Here, and if they make really terrible time coming through these woods, then I may actually move... Uh, where is Hunt? Hunt is here. Oh, they routed Morris's... Detachment. Wow. They only took 12 casualties and they routed. Jeez. That's bad. That's bad. Let's see if Morris can recall skirmishers. Just to preserve them. Get them back in the regiment and maybe send some more out later. That is... It is strange. I guess that's that. That is what there is to say about it. It, it is strange. Um, sometimes the tremendous casualties you can inflict, and you get kind of no result. And they inflict very few, and they got a great result. I don't know if Burnside's detachment is going to get there in time. I would tend to doubt it. I will say this time, the Mc McDowell, the army commander, well, they have it now back to a minor defeat. I'm not sure why. It's not because of casualties. It must have been a, a victory point or something. It has them taking 150 casualties to 10 on my side. Okay, you need to aim at them. You need to aim at them. Maybe you have to start giving them Iron Discipline, but I, I really don't feel like I should have to. Well, they're skirmishers. They, they should be pretty well trained anyways. Maybe a sharpshooter would help. Yeah, I think Hill's Brigade is... They're facing about an even number of skirmishers, but I think I have about 900 or so, and they're just under 1,200 in that, that group. Um... Peninsular Cav... Peninsular... I think it says Er. Peninsula Cavalry, my mistake. Uh, yeah, they're not far enough back to keep moving. If that's where they decide to make their stand, hooray. Uh... Because I would move... I'm going to try to get this cavalry in here. And I'm going to try to get the other... There it is. Farmer's cavalry. I'm going to try to get... Oh, why would these guys break? They're flashing red, which... Again, stable is a misnomer. If it says stable, then they are almost surely unstable. And about to break. So we'll... I'm trying to pull them back. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Uh, hunt. That little bit of trees doesn't appear on this map. But what are we doing here? 
when we zoom in, they merge. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, but there you have it. My goodness, Baker fall back. Fall back if you can, even if you are stable. Uh, let's see about the rest of the, the army really far away. I mean, two hours have passed since things began, and really not that close at all. Yeah, I think these guys are going to be able to wipe that cavalry. It's not very... well, they haven't inflicted that many casualties yet, but... I'd still like to be able to put those skirmishers in these two buildings. I, it, it seems necessary. Whoa, why, why are you guys leaving your cover? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Those guys are adjusting well to the, the movement of the cavalry. Alright, I think then we can speed things up. Okay, so we got them to route. Uh, I'm going to send this cavalry up near their flanks. But I'm also going to try to get the caval this cavalry behind. Well, if we're going to be that close, we might as well shoot them. And maybe we'll get Hunt's Cavalry up there, too. I think it's too aggressive, but I don't want to lose if that second day glitch happens again. It's going to be really, really disheartening. Because we're basically beating them with now four units of skirmishers, formerly five. Baker... Move him up, but I don't I don't really trust that he's gonna last that long in combat. These guys have good flank shots, but I wanna to try to get to the rear. Oh, uh, they're telling me now it's a major victory. It's a little hard to believe. just from my sense of how things are going. I know it's not going well for them, but it's basically 10 to 1 across the board. I mean, and, and I read the ratio last. I didn't start with that. I, but just looking at the killed and wounded numbers. Baker's detached. Okay, so now they're up to confident. We'll see how long it lasts once they're actually in battle. Uh, now the forces are getting closer. But it's also 5.30. And I, I would really doubt that they're going to be in position by the end of the day. And it's one of the problems with giving cavalry these kind of micro orders. Is that, yeah, moving the cavalry up to about here would have been fine before. But it makes little, little sense at all now. Because they're, they're going to be too far away. Luckily... McDowell and others are getting closer to reduce the time that the order takes. But that still doesn't mean that they're in a good place. So we'll see how things go. This actually requires quite a bit of micromanagement, which... It's almost certainly not the purpose. All right, I'm trying to guess where they'll be. Maybe that'll be good. Uh, they're actually in a pretty good spot. Yeah, actually, that that turned out to be perfect for now until these guys withdraw. Okay, burn. 
Burnside's boys. Let's make them sharpshooters. Make every shot count. Um. We'll have them dig in. Is anybody coming? I'm trying to remember where people are going. So top. Okay, so they fell back. Almost took 10 to 1 casualties. Uh, it's very good for us. Uh, that was Hampton's division. That had just taken Petersburg. And so I think they'll be thrown out. We should be able to retake that. And reverse whatever gains they had by retaking. When they retook it from me after I took it from them. But that's going to be the end of this episode. I've been trying to keep them to about a half hour. Uh, but I felt like the battles in this one... Maybe even the first one because it was kind of a replay of a previous battle. Even though it was totally different the way, the way it fought. Um, you know, you all deserved a two-battle special. So, that was it. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And I uh, hope to have you guys back for another one.